Welcome to a special series of video interviews that are part of my indie music podcast made in India for Our Neighbors 2021 out now on all podcast apps. Last year during the pandemic, India had border tensions with its geographic neighbors, which to be honest was super disheartening because that's not how you feel as an individual and these geographical lines that divide us should not dictate how we feel about each other. I wanted to be able to represent the compassion and camaraderie we have for one another the best way I knew how through being a really big fan of music. So my mission was to discover some of the most incredible musicians coming out of Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka and feature them on the show. One of those artists I had a chance to chat with is R&B, funk, soul, and jazz band called Unscripted from Colombo. And here you're going to get a chance to listen to bass player Savine Makalanda and drummer Charit Fernando. If it makes you feel some way, it is hard to try. Hi, Charit. Hi, hey. 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 So, um, I wanted to sort of understand firstly, as they ask, so dude, how did the band come together, man? Like, I, <laughs> that's my first question. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I've been answering this question <laughs> ever since. So, <laughs> so uh, <I> take it. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I think uh, I'm going to skip oh, about two, three years because it started with two people only and when we were in school and all that. But uh, uh, if we skip well, to so 2017. You guys were pretty young when it started then. From school and all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still young. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, basically, in 2017, uh, Shamika, my brother, who's our producer and our guitarist, uh, both mm-hmm. of us, he also joined the band because he was not in the band before. We we all used to be in the metal scene, all of us. I mean, I knew Charit. I yeah, so I was going to ask you, yeah. I like, it's so strange because you and yeah. your brother, uh, Shamika yeah. and you, Sabine, yeah. uh, that you were actually like thrash metal dudes and yes. then and i'm like Charlie where did the transition <laughs> yeah. yeah so where did the transition happen to become uh, like well, let's do some funk and soul guys <laughs> i think the transition happened in the metal music industry uh, we did it but at that point we were schooling we just had only pocket money there was no money to record the music yeah. or anything even uh, bedroom productions we were we didn't have the knowledge to do it so i guess we yeah. all kind of drifted away from music for a while except the only one guy i know who didn't drift away was charlie who was always in the music <laughs> yeah. scene and then he yeah. started playing in commercial bands and he was just he was doing good he's uh, still doing good i mean uh, so he was in the scene we were not in the scene and i started working at a place where i met two of my band uh, earlier band members and we all started and they were all getting into the whole commercial side the funk the uh, whole side of it. So in 2017, uh, when Shamika and I kind of wanted to do music, like we'll get into this, kind of make money by playing commercial gigs as well. So then I spoke to, I met this guy, uh, I knew him also again in the metal scene, KK, our, rap, our rapper who used to be a rapper. So when we met him, we did an original and Shamika was pushing me saying, if you're doing it, we have to make originals, we have to keep doing, we can't be just yeah. a cover band. So 2017, I called Charit. Uh, he's super busy. He's always busy with gigs. He he did not want to commit to a permanent band for like two years. <laughs> he did not want because he always plays session. He gets gig every day. So yeah. I called him one last day. I said, Charit, I we need you <laughs> and uh, we need to get you on board. Yeah. Then he was on board. Then uh, we started getting into the whole funk scene the, with uh, putting rap onto it and making a different thing because unscripted. We want. We want the genre to be like unscripted, basically. We wanted to do yeah. all sorts of stuff which we really like, which we really feel like we good to play. So, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, then it started to kick off with our first EP in 2017. That's our first mm-hmm. three singles that we put out. Yeah. And uh, ever since we kept on doing originals and... Uh, even though our rapper is not there, our mu- so it, right now our rapper is not there since last year, but uh, we get a lot of session rappers, so we get to work with a lot of uh, new rappers, and we work with him too. So we always try to incorporate a little bit of rap, because uh, even though we are from the metal background, uh, we love our rap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, um, like, you know, doing or performing you know, metal or, you know, prog, thrash, whatever that may be. Do you think that somehow um, influenced the sort of 
the kind of music you're making now with unscripted? Definitely. definitely. In what yeah, way? Definitely. Uh, w- one thing is definitely stage presence and crowd control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can't just stand around and play yeah. metal, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you got to feed off that energy. So I think for me, especially like, uh, apart from some elements of like, you know, thrash metal playing fast or whatever, uh, apart from that, it's just that the crowd presence. And back then yeah. uh, when we were playing, we had some massive fans and like they really supported us even like uh yeah so our, bla- ba- our band was called blaze and uh, oh yeah we were like yeah, we were, <laughs> we were like uh some of the i mean we were like some of the youngest uh, uh, people who like yeah i heard so when you were like 13 when <laughs> yeah, you were playing was, bass for a yeah. blaze <laughs> i was 13 and charlie so, yeah. was about 16 <laughs> 15 <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so we were like quite young and but uh that 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 scene was like so like empowering really like yeah those guys. honestly i don't even know what that venn diagram like means <laughs> yeah. when, like, but I mean, even, because <laughs> even one thing's for sure it's <laughs> one thing's for sure you can be in the middle and be broke <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think that's that's one of the biggest parts but uh, yeah, so much i've cool been like so yeah. i've been for like you know, hip hop or R&B like, and you guys like do play that sort of meld between like funk and yeah, jazz. Sure. I've not yeah. seen anyone moshing at a jazz gig. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I would know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, it's uh, more like, oh my God, the, the consummate bass line and this like, <laughs> it's totally different. There is an understanding that the independent musician is like the epitome of the struggling artist right and i think everyone like every artist that i talk to kind of gets that what is the uh, independent music scene like in sri lanka it's the english music industry here it's actually there is no such industry here so when you check uh, when you check uh, like i would take an example as rappers sri lankan singer rappers they are qu- doing quite well. They are doing quite well on yeah. the streaming platforms. They are getting millions mm-hmm. of views. So things like that, in like in that way, in the Sri Lankan Sinhala market, it's quite good. It's yeah. doing good. It's a very good yeah, industry. It's a broad industry. But uh, in terms of English music, for people don't go behind original English music yet. Yeah, correct. Uh, it's yeah. still... They are, they, you can count they the use, people who do original yeah, English yeah. music here. Like you can, yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. It's not a lot of people. You just have to force them to kind of, you know, there's a scene <laughs> happening. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Please come, come. It yeah, is like, please come. Are, <laughs> yeah. It's like a big market. And you're like, please come yeah. to my stall. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that yeah, actually, uh, when it comes to events, we can, we actually pull off a crowd, uh, pull off a good crowd. That's so good. Uh, yeah. But uh, in terms of listening and like streaming music, only like where... We are kind of having a, a small situation it's there. Yeah. Yeah. So the I'm super excited that um, on the Our Neighbors mixtape we're going to be playing um, a release that you guys have done for 2021 yes. this year. It's yeah. called "Is It Safe Outside." If it- Not difficult uh, to understand yeah, what the, the song is about. Yeah. Pandemic times. So, yeah, of course. So, um, can you tell me a little bit about the track and how it kind of came together? So, the track came together actually 31st night last, uh, yeah, the New Year's Eve. I was partying. Uh, Charlie was playing somewhere, I think. And uh, Shamika was saying... Play. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we didn't this play this year. This year we didn't yeah, play because yeah. of the whole yeah. pandemic situation. Yeah. But... Uh, and then Shamika was home. He's mostly who produces all the time. He was he was having a drink here. And then on the first, everyone was hungover. But he actually made this riff on 31st night. And he was like, Savin, I kind of made this riff. And I put a slight bass line on it. You can check it out. And let's see what we can do. Then we actually came up with it and we showed the track to Charlie. We got the drums right, everything right. Then we were figuring out what to kind of write about it because it's a little heavier song. I think that song kind of shows the metal side 
of it of uh, influence but uh, maybe that's why i liked it so much <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably <laughs> and the album art <laughs> yeah the album art just, no the album art for sure yeah. <laughs> like that is so metal so dude. metal <laughs> and uh, and then uh, when we started writing about it of course with the situation we thought okay is it safe outside let's write about that but uh, I think Stephen is first on the first verse. He's speaking about basically the pandemic, but on the second verse, he's actually speaking about he used to play in a metal band. Our vocalist used to play in a metal band called Hollow. Yeah. Uh, they were quite big as well. Yeah. So he played with a guitarist who was super duper talented and a doctor. Uh, like uh, <laughs> yeah, he he's a super doctor. I love that uh, him being a doctor is like a side note. He yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He, played he was a super he was talented also. guitarist but yeah. uh, he actually sadly he passed away due to the covid uh, due to covid-19 oh so Steven was really down in a downfall mm-hmm. at that point then uh, the whole second verse was dedicated to him how how like such norm like he was you know he was your guitarist that's yeah. like that's it he was your guitarist and he's just gone you know so and uh, on that irshad is actually speaking about how uh, information is not given from the government and like the real situation is not shown to the people during this pandemic and this is why we are kind of everyone is suffering so of course yeah that's what we were talking that's that's how the song came along actually yeah. and it is so telling honestly of the level of like paranoia right that everyone has yeah. it's so like yeah. you know I, even if i want to go for a walk i'm like if someone it's like if it's slightly crowded or if someone's yeah. there you kind of just feel so you yeah. know something is going to happen or his mask is not on properly or like <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. and it is like it it's this the like, seed that's been planted in your head like even though the thing that's going to save you in this pandemic is wearing a mask which honestly yeah. is like nothing if you're yeah. wearing a mask and sanitizing your hands is what's going to prevent me from getting this thing it's yeah. insane that that's it but at the yeah. same time it's unbelievable how just no one wants to follow the rules follow and the rules, like you yeah. said there is the information that we're getting is also so controlled that yeah. we actually don't truly know what the situation is like unless yeah. you actually talk two doctors or two like people in the you know the health yeah. care services yeah. and stuff and yeah. it's like yeah it is like it's sometimes you're just like i'm just going to sit at home I, yeah. <laughs> and like you get yeah. like that's the whole thing like when you say is it yeah. safe outside we're like is it yeah. i don't know is it yeah is it <laughs> yeah because yeah. even even for so, me i had to take yeah. my dog to the vet and uh, the, it was crowded and it was raining so no one could stand in queues like i i didn't want to take the risk of going in i had to like schedule another yeah. day Because it's crazy. But you're like, I'm not going to. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> no, on top of that, even if they get the vaccine, you're like standing in one queue. It's like, what is the yeah. point? Everyone's going to crowd by yeah, everything. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, lastly, I have a couple of questions because, again, you know, the fact that we're in a pandemic and we can't travel, yeah. like I'm hoping that one day... Uh I can make a trip to Colombo and come and yes. see you guys and hang. Yeah. So if I do come to visit you, where <laughs> would be the first place you'd take me? Hmm. <laughs> so many places. I don't know. What what do you want experience? Yeah. yeah Anything. So it's a place too. that you think is like super cool that you think I should check out. We're like you have to take me here. Uh, <laughs> you can come one thing for sure if you come for like one of our practices it will be super cool I mean. <laughs> oh my god straight from the airport go yeah, to the jam room <laughs> maybe we're not even going to feed you no yeah, water all, no food all, uh, jam. <laughs> all the historical places all those beautiful sceneries yeah. no come to our jam session <laughs> come to <Yeah. laughs> we'll probably I mean if you really want to like check it out like I mean down south is like a really nice place to go and uh, yeah. there's a lot of things happening there as well. So when the season is happening Colombo, a lot of yeah. Colombo bands come and play so it's, it's quite nice. uh, happening yeah around. Also cuz again I want to have a chance to like be like really local. So yeah. if I did come to Colombo can you teach me like a like some slang or like a phrase <laughs> so that I can sound cool? 
And then be like, oh, yeah. she's a Colombo girl. Like, <laughs> bro. Bro everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but Machang is good. Machang. Yeah. Machang, Machang. is a, yeah. yeah, Machang is like a... Let's uh, M-A-C-H-A-N-G like slang, but, yeah. or A-N? Yeah. Either way, uh, like you can spell yeah, it. Yeah, A-N-G, Machang. Yeah. yeah. Machang. Machang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if I, if I land noon. at the airport, say, Machang, take me to Charit's jam room. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Like, that's, that's sounds they a lot like... They would definitely think that you're from <laughs> Sri Lanka. Like, yeah. I'm a local <laughs> girl. Sri, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. thank you so much. And I'm so excited that... Um, you know, Unscripted are part of Our Neighbors this year on Made in India. Yes. And I just really Thanks appreciate, like, Thanks I'm hoping to come us. to Colombo one day and see you guys perform live. Yeah. Um, but till yes. then, uh, people can still continue to listen to your music. Yes. Yep. Thanks for having us. streaming yeah. platforms. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Thanks so much to Sabine and Chadwick. Check out Unscripted and their track, Is It Safe Outside, on Our Neighbors 2021 episode on Made in India. The link is in the description. Also, subscribe and follow and all that stuffs. And you can check out more videos of our Made in India sessions on our YouTube channel.